All right, let's have a look around our new Freelander 2. So we've just bid on this car on Copart. It's just turned up here this morning. I think I paid ridiculously low money for it, but it may be ridiculously expensive. We'll have to see what's wrong with it. So I've got it on charge at the moment. So what is it? It's a 2011 Freelander 2. It's sort of partial facelift, so it's got the later bumper on it. Um, what else has it got on it? Has it got a... Um, it's still got early door handles and bits and pieces. It's still got the early light, so it hasn't, it's not the one where they changed to the LED lights, but it's got the later chrome strip across the back. So it's a TD4 diesel Freelander 2. Now, um, what do we know about it? Not a lot. It sold as a non runner with a front accident. So none of the airbags have deployed, which is good. But let's have a look. What have we got going on at the front here? This this headlight's okay. The grille looks all right, but we've got some some damage here, which looks a bit a bit odd. This front bumper's all been scraped along here, um, but not too bad. The front number plate's still intact, and underneath it's still it looks all right. Doesn't look like we've had any knocks those wind deflectors are still on there all the engine protection is still on there um that fog light is still in there um this headlight's all broken so if we look at the top we can see that there should be a headlight mount going across here and that should be there so he's all he's all completely loose um what else do we know um i can't see any sign of anyone messing about with it too much the battery cover was off i don't think the battery's any good i've got a new one on order um we'll see that was off um the, the oil doesn't look I've done a little test here. The oil, well, it's got oil and it doesn't look white. So it doesn't look like we've got a head gasket gone or anything. Um, but goodness only knows. It's got quite high mileage on. We'll have a look. The water, if we look in the water, it's got water in it. It looks a little bit rusty, but I had a little sneak preview. Um, but it's there. That looks all right. Um, what else do we know? Not a lot. Right, let's have another little wander around, see what else we can see. It doesn't look like it's hit the front wheel, the front wing, there's a, there's a dent there. So it's going to need some bodywork on the wing. The doors look fine. It looks like it's got power fold mirrors over that. Oh, it's been knocked back, I don't know. Right, and inside, what have we got? We've got, the, we've got genuine accessory mats. Um... It's got the sat nav. It's got the it's got the leather and sort of Alcantara suede interior. Got no sunroof, but it looks clean enough. There we go. It's got all the mats, everything inside. I haven't even looked in the boot yet. Let's have a look in the boot. Oh gosh, that was stuck. Looks like it's had a dog owner or a gardener or. And probably a dog owner's had it, but they've put the they put the mat. We got a we got no spare wheel, but we've got the tools and the. It looks like this has got the inflatable kit, so it didn't come with the spare wheel. Um, it's got it's got the um, tool there for the misfueling if you put the wrong fuel in. Um, tires look right. This looks a bit. I think it's just got a lot of mud on it. These 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 trims do come off a lot. I see they sell a lot on eBay. I ought to get a lot of those in. We got muddy old things on there. Um, right, the big question's going to be: well, There's the the nav unit there under the under the seat. Oh, it's got electric. We've got some electric seats going on. Look, it's not too bad, but. Does it do anything? So let's have a look. Let's get the key in. I think the battery's too flat. So the excitement may have to wait for another day. Right, there we go. So it's a manual. So there we go. We've got a six-speed gearbox on it. Right, let's have a look. System check. The airbag lights have gone out. My seatbelt light hasn't gone on. The engine warning lights. Let's have a look. Ooh. Got half a tank of diesel look um let's have a look if it'll start no no 
we haven't got enough power to start it. So we'll get a new battery on it. We've got a leather steering wheel. Some of the Freelander 2s didn't have the leather steering wheel. Looks like it's got the auto dimming mirror. We've got a broken windscreen there. That's a bit annoying, that could be expensive. And it looks like it's got a heated windscreen as well. So that could potentially be annoying. We got anything in here? We got some, a toilet roll, that would have been good. We were short of those a few weeks ago. Oh, we've got the radio on. <laughs> got Land Rovers on. What have we got in here? There you go, Bedford, Land Rover. What have we got here? service schedule we might even have some some service history with it when was it last stamped there you go it was stamped 130,000 miles um bath road buckingham there you go um it's not main dealer but it's got some no it's got one there at 30,000 it's got 30,000 miles then 130 so that's a bit of a gap but there we go <laughs> Right, we got, we got some books and pieces with it. Let's have a look. Might have some receipt for something interesting. Yeah. Somerset, there we go. Whoa, two to invoice for two thousand one hundred and thirty-four pounds. Well, that's more. Than, that's double what I spent on the car. And what does it say? Fit new timing belt and water pump. Fit new rear deer and cervix the Haldex. Um. So they, what's the big part there? Rear diff unit. So it's got a brand new rear diff unit in, and that was done at 135,000. And what's the mileage now? It did, it did, it did pop up earlier. Let's see if it, oh, there go, 139,000. You can see there. So, yeah, 4,000 miles ago, it had, it had a lot of money spent on it. So that's good news. So if we get a battery on here. We'll see if we can start this. Right, we've nipped home and got a new battery. Well, the battery off the other Freelander. There we go, we've got the recovery truck out. So we'll get the battery out of there. Right, George, whip this battery out of here. Right, so you've got to take the cover off. Don't drop the socket set though, George. You wouldn't do that, would you? No. We've got some little bits you've got to pull here. Look, let's have a look. So there you go. Right. And then undo the negative first. That's at the back there. And it's that little... Is that, that one point into here? Have you got it? Yeah. Go on, he's like a boss. All right, that's it. Rattle it backwards and forwards, that's it. That'll be enough. All right, and then it, let's have a look. So, and then we've got to do that one there, that little one there. But careful, yeah, you should actually probably remove that one before we do that because it could still spark. Let's Ooh. give that a wiggle for me, George. I'm holding the camera. Two hands. Go on, two hands. Give it a wiggle. All right, oh, my delivery driver's come. Oh, has he? No. Now, if you rotate it side to side, it comes off easier. That's it, and then lift it. Work it. Do you want me to have a go? Yeah. Go on. Up. You do the camera, man. Stop. Right. Oh, he is a bit tight. All right, then. All right, so that's that one. All right, now let's have this one off. Right now, I'm sure we've got enough room there to get all these cables out of the way because we've got to get, lift this battery out in a minute. Oh, does that lift out of there? See that there? Oh, is that? that gives me a bit more room, doesn't it? And I reckon I'm going to have to unplug that. Cool, they make this complicated for me. There you go. Alright, so that's giving us. Right, that will get all that out of the way. Right, and then we've got to undo that bolt there that holds the thing in. Oh, I'm going to have to come around this way a bit, George. Give me a bit of room. Oh, oh that was tight. I'm not, I'm not even sure that's had it. Oh, I've had my socket. Oh, there you go. It starts, and we've got a bargain. If it doesn't start, or if it makes a load of smoky, rattly, banging noises, we could be in a bit of trouble, but let's have a look. Right, right that's good, that's good. That one's gone back on. We've got to try and find the room to get this, get 
lifts out of it. Oh, that, oh, that, that lifts out of there. Look. Right, so, right, can I get room to get... Oh, they don't make it easy, do they? Right, let me see if I can... Right. You may have to hold me, George. Hold me, hold that, that there. And that over the back there. It might give us enough room to... Right, I'll, I'll get this out because I'm going to need George to give me a hand. Right, here we go. Out the recovery truck. Right, let's just have a look. Does it look the same sort of size? Of course, a little bit smaller might make it a bit easier to get in. Plus, negative, the right side. Yeah, so the one you're tied both to our, what sort of type is that? I've got a new one coming. Um, right, anyway, here we go. Let's start with my other ones. Oh, one thing I had to do was take that little air vent thing out. That was giving me some problems. Right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, not too much. Let go a bit, George. That's it. Oh, yeah. 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 We'll get the bracket sorted later. There's the, so that's what the bracket does. That, that screws down there and clamps on the bottom edge of the battery. So we'll put that on in a minute. We're more interested in seeing if it goes, aren't we, George? Yeah. Right, uh, oh, that negative. Did I just fall on? That's mad. Right, camera magic. Right, socket set. Where have I put that down? Oh, I've got it. Aye. Right. Stolen my tools, George. My own son. Right, uh, let's just be careful now, obviously, because we've got the on the positive yeah. mm -hmm. oh, don't touch any metal work oh, is that my courier turned up now no nope, not yet All right, then. it's friday afternoon we've let the boys go home early so i've got to load the courier van right, mm. right. right let's have a look if that's going to have a go right where have i put the key Here's the key. Right, here we go. Eleven hundred pound free land of two. Let's see. Yeah. Let's go. Come on, runner. And they just spent. We found that invoice earlier. They just spent two and a half thousand pounds on. Look at that. That runs, let me see if it drives for us. Look on the camera case. Have a on there. Let me pull that back up in a minute. Look at that, that'll polish out, George. <laughs> that'll polish out, look. Adjustable headlights. I should go around the corner, they change beam angles. Nice. That's, that's new technology, that is. I'd love to see it. Right there, right, let's have a look. Look at the gears, George. Eleven hundred quid, two thousand eleven, three down to two, no error messages. I think it just had a small craft, had a flat battery. Co Park couldn't be bothered to start it. We're gonna give this a wash. What are we gonna do to it then, George? Put some, put, we'll put some of those lush wheels we've got hundreds of in that we bought off yeah. the Rover for cheap. We'll put some lush wheels on it. We'll put some door handle covers on it. We'll give it a clean and a polish up. Um, some mirror covers. I've got to sort that out. Right, here's our courier. So we're giving it a quick wash, just with a bucket and a sponge. I still need to buy a new steam cleaner. And it's come up pretty enough. We like our new Freelander. Freelander 2, 139,000 miles. It's just had a new diff put in it. It's got half a tank of diesel. Um, it's got four new Continental tires on it. Uh, the alloys look mint. Um, okay, we've got to put a wing, a bonnet, and a headlight on it, but they're bolt-on parts. We can do that. Um, it's got the leather interior. It smells a bit of dog. 
Uh, manual, six speed, electric seats. Um, you can see I've just splashed it there. We got the sat nav on here, leather steering wheel, factory mats. That's nice, that is. All looks nice. There go. We go, we can update the lights. It's got the later tailgate strip. There we go, it's the TD4XS. Uh, I don't know if it's got heated seats or anything. I need to put some new tailgate struts on that. Need to upgrade the interior lights to LED. Look at those brand new tyres. £1,100. I'll go get the receipt and put in the notes below the exact and put in the pictures of what I, when I completed the auction. Just so that you, those of you that are called Thomas and don't believe me, we got locking wheel nuts. Got that. Brand new Continental tyres on there, all round match set. I guess they're probably advised to do that when they put the new diff on, because the way the Haldex works, if you got if your tyres wear on the front different to the rear, it like winds up the Haldex. Um, I might have a look underneath, see if we can actually see that new Haldex diff in there. So I've got to get a new front bumper, which obviously comes with the grill. The fog lights aren't broken. We'll have a look behind at the at the radiator, but the water's in, everything's in. No airbag damage, nothing. So I think we've, I think we've done all right there. Let me have a look underneath at that Haldex. Yeah, it's somewhat difficult to see from underneath here. I haven't got a wide enough angle lens, but but everything looks okay. I mean, it's not shiny new, but I can only believe they've done it. There's no reason to leave that receipt in there for the money we've spent on it. But everything under the car all looks pretty. All looks pretty straight, all the floor pans are straight. Can't even see where they've loaded it on with the forklift, which which normally you can see at Copart, they put the forklifts in from the cell. Right, let's get back up. I just found the replacement service book, and it looks like it's had services. 65,000, oh, if I get the camera right, 65,000 in 2017, 98. Um, it looks like they've they've kept it going. And it's got diff oil change, 114,000. So it looks like we've got um, a pretty good service history with that and the other one combined. And that and that big invoice, I'm quite happy with that. I think that's worth fixing. I think that's a, I reckon that's a good car. Anyway, good day. Um, that's me ready for the weekend now.